there are several innovators and creative figures whose contributions resulted in the industrial engineering we have today, and without their contributions the world of industrialization would not have reached the way it has today. Number 1, Adam Smith. Adam Smith through his book titled Wealth of Nations laid foundation to scientific manufacturing. He introduced the concept of division of labor. Through his concept of division of labor which included the skill development, time sayings and the use of specialized machine was able to influence the factory system. Number 2, James Watt. It is due to his contributions that steam engine advanced the use of mechanical power to increase productivity. Number 3, Charles Babbage an English mathematician worked on the same line as Adam Smith's division of labor and advocated specialization as one more advantage of division of labor. Number 4, Frederick Taylor. Frederick Taylor is generally credited with being the father of industrial management and industrial engineering. Taylor was a mechanical engineer who initiated investigations of better work methods and went on to become the first individual to develop an integrated theory of management principles and methodologies. Taylor believed that a scientific approach to management could improve labor efficiency. He proposed few actions which include Number 1. Collect data on each element of work and develop standardized procedures for workers. Number 2. Scientifically select, train and develop workers instead of letting them train themselves. Number 3. Strive for a spirit of cooperation between management and workers so that high production at good pay is fostered. Number 4. Divide the work between management and labor so that each group does the work to which it is best suited. These principles over the periods, developed into method study and work measurement, training, selection, placement and industrial relations. So, the Taylor's contribution are Constitution of day's work, wage payment system, elimination of waste, training of workers, and, understanding between managers and workers. Number 5, Henry L. Gantt Gantt, who was an engineering contemporary of Taylor, had a profound impact on the development of management thinking. His contributions included work in the area of motivation field and development of task and bonus plan, which was a highly successful incentive plan. Measurement of management results by Gantt charts. Recognition of social responsibility of business and industry. And advocated training of workers by management. Number 6, Frank and Lillian Gilbreth. The advancement of motion studies is a contribution by Gilbreth. Assisted by his wife, he developed method study as a tool for work analysis. Gilbreth emphasized the relationship between output and the effort of the worker. He developed micromotion study, which is a breakdown of work into fundamental elements called thibliks. Number 7, Harrington Emerson. He developed his managerial concepts simultaneously with Taylor, Gant and Gilbreth. Amongst his contributions is the Emerson's Efficiency Bonus Plan, an incentive plan which guarantees the base day rate and pays a graduated bonus. Emerson's 12 principles of efficiency include Clearly defined ideas, common sense, competent counsel, discipline, fair deal, reliable, immediate and adequate records, dispatching, standards and schedules, standardized conditions standard operations, written standard practice instructions, and, efficiency reward. Number 8, LHC Tippett. He developed the concept of work sampling to determine the equipment and manpower utilization and for setting performance standards for long cycle, heterogeneous jobs involving teamwork. 